and welcome back to Divinity Original Sin, the Enhanced Edition. We've moved slightly from last episode, we've been back to town, bought a few skills, sold a lot of crap, and now we're back at the start of Lakula Forest. About to get this waypoint, and make our way over to Silver Glen, I think it is. Hail, Source Hunter! Oh. Good to see you've reached Lakula Forest. There were times when I came to this neck of the woods just to whiff its wholesome air. Alas, that it is thick with sorcery these days. Sorcery abounds, does it? It surrounds us here, like an invisible mist. Takes cat's eyes to see it creep. Even so, it's plain as day to the east, all about Ikara's cabin. Immaculates beset it. No doubt under Leandra's orders. If she has ordered such thorough defenses of her sister's cabin, we may be certain that whatever lies within will be a prize more precious than butter-baked place. That means Ikara herself must be there, Hunter. And it is essential that you find her. Only she can shed light on the details of Leandra's plans. I thank you for your counsel. I time to mosey on. Ha! <laughs> Zigzags would see you dash rather than mosey, but matters such as these require a thoughtful approach. Leandra and her cronies may be lunatics all, but they're far from brainless. So be wary, Hunter, and be safe. Okie dokie. Right, well, our first order of business is to get to Sizeal, which, uh, not Sizeal, Silver Glen, which is there. And pick up whatever quest we can in that area. And I know for a fight, there's bound to be a fight on the way. Or maybe not. In the name of the goddess, halt! Who goes there? Not but a wanderer. A wanderer, you say? A lost sheep, perhaps, that has found its flock? The stable of immaculates? Why, it's Silver Glen, of course. Once the abode of miners, now the abode of the faithful. We have traded the search for silver for the pursuit of divinity. I'm sure this sounds strange in what our strangers' ears, but you must know that but a short while ago a frightful sickness felled us by the dozen until she who speaks for the goddess brought us a cure. Uh, what have you got for sale? Anything? No. Okay. Back to the chat then. She showed us how we may overcome the frailty and even the decrepitude of our mortal bodies. That is why we now live a life of devoutness and civility. So that we may become immaculate. But I suggest you talk to Father Loik if you want to learn more about the ways of the goddess. Be welcome, therefore, to Silver Glen. Blessed be all immaculates. Yeah, blah 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 blah. Okay. The immaculates here seem to be uh, friendly and lost down here. Being the operative word, let's remain pure. vigilant. I wouldn't trust these sentries to guard a pig pen. Keep alert, comrades. There's something fishy about this place. Hmm. It's peculiar. I thought there would be something down there. Bear daughter, what's your perception's at nine, so it's pretty high. If there's something there, we'd see it. Right, let's head into Silver Glen. Beware of the lost ones out there, Wanderer. Their blood is impure. Psst. Over here, Grimoire of the it's me, oh. Conceivable. Okay. So look at that. Right, okay, can't access it. Over here, Hunter. There's something else I wanted it's to look me. at, and that's oh. it there. Uh, 
That's what I wanted to look at. Psst. Over here, Hunter. It's me, Ahu. Okay. Seems like it might be important enough to go in one of our bikes. Psst. Over here, Hunter. It's me, Ahu. Yes, I can hear you, Ahu. Just give me a minute and I'll be with you. Alright, we need to keep that. Definitely keep that. Keep that as well, Grimmer of the Inconceivable. Psst. Over here, Hunter. It's me, Ahu. I am through me, the conduit and the goddess self, do task you to retrieve the star stone room to be kept in the king's tomb below Sinus Hill. Deliver it to Lady Attenborough immediately. Psst. Over here, Hunter. It's me, Ahu. Yes, I can hear you, Ahu. Hang on a minute. Give me a sec. Here we go. Right. What's up with you? What do you want? Source Hunter. You've made it into the hamlet of Silver Glen, I see. Unnerving spot, don't you find? Leandra has fashioned herself a hero here, but the townsfolk don't seem to know the truth behind the conduit, though they call themselves Immaculates. And what do you make of these immaculates? They're thick as trout, if you ask me, and unnaturally obsessed with ancient teachings. I haven't seen Leandra here myself, but she must have put on quite a show of magical mastery to enthrall a crowd of shaggy miners, to have them hop on the bandwagon of a shadowy religion wholly alien to them. Which ancient teachings do you mean? Haven't you heard them whisper of the blood? How their eyes shine when they discuss certain stellar stones? Star stones, of course, which drenched in blood become blood stones and are used in healing rituals. Now, I can see how it could be a fantastic thing to nurse a dying human back to health if all it takes is to sacrifice a toad. But I spy bloodlust in these people's eyes. A bloodlust that goes beyond the usual meaning of the word. They all act like they're following a benign goddess that will lead them to paradise. But I'll be a dappled Dalmatian if any of that is true. Uh, since you've been scouting the place, perhaps you can tell me where I could start looking for the shady goings on. I've been shadowing the local priest, a man by the name of Loik. I have the feeling he knows more than most in Silver Glen. For I followed him in the night when he meets with cloaked strangers and goblins, even. Mangoth, Hyberheim, of strange things I've heard him whisper. Yes, this priest has shady goings on written all over that smug, holier than thou face of his. But we must start at the beginning, Source Hunter. The White Witch is still at large. If we want to get to the true heart of Leandra's doings, we must start with her sister. And she's far likelier to be in her cabin among the trees than here among Leandra's followers. Why are you walking around Silver Glen in your cat form? The advantage of being a puss, my friend, is that one can pussyfoot. A white-haired wizard draws attention, but a cat can move about unnoticed and indeed unseen not that i'm not extra wary of these blood suckers though there's a conspicuous absence of pets in this eerie little town <laughs> okay i'll take my leave thank you ahu the immaculate's presence here is highly disconcerting but we mustn't lose sight of our mission source hunter the white witch resides somewhere in the wilds of the surrounding forest and we must find her Okay, I'll log updated. The Cat Wizard advised us to infiltrate the Immaculates by becoming one of them. Okay. 
find the witch we know about. We need to find the witch. Oh, we've got those two that are flashing and we've finished. Right. So the first building we come to... Oh, hang on, we haven't done these boxes. Let's do the boxes first. Check out what's in here. It seems to be some kind of temple or something. Diligently will I read the words of the goddess. Welcome be, O seeking souls, to this holy house of Immaculates. Who are you? I am Loic, enlightened one among Immaculates, spokesman for the holy conduit as she is spokesman for the goddess herself. Hers is the blood. Immaculate I want to be. The blood of the lost will flow. Blessed be the goddess, and blessed, blessed be, be the, the conduit, goddess, and blessed be the conduit. Mm -mm. Immaculate, I Not really want anything to we're stealing there, I don't the think. Of the lost will flow. Back to the conversation. I want to ask some questions about the Immaculates. Then it shall be my pleasure to answer them. Who are the Immaculates? We are the chosen ones of the goddess. The benedictions of the blood render our bodies and spirits unblemished, for such is her mercy that we may all become part of the sacred soul. And you too, Seeker, could become one such part. Can you tell me more about the conduit? The conduit, yes. She, the most exalted of all, second only to the goddess. It was she who brought us first her divine words, then her divine will, a will made real in blood. Truly, though, she is quite beyond your concern, O wandering soul. She stands so very high above your humble station. I'd like to hear about the goddess. The goddess is the light and life of all. Corrupt is the world that generations of men and beasts have left behind. But immaculate it may be once more, cleansed in the blood of the unworthy. The few, the proud, the enlightened, theirs will be her kingdom. When red has run until no red is left, a paradise we will have shapen, and the goddess will dwell among us. Okay, let's discuss my journey, the Immaculates. You find yourself in the goddess's temple, therefore it follows she wants you to take the true path. So here, have this hallowed tome. Read it, absorb the wisdom within, then find the second part and do with it the same. If an immaculate you want to be, a test of knowledge shall be your first step towards enlightenment. Do you hold it to be true, O seeker, that you are ready to be tested? A most sacred trio of queries shall I put before thee, but even if thou falterest but a single time, unworthy will thou be deemed of the goddess's love. Okay, let's give this a whirl, let's see if I can remember what the answers are. Blessed be your willing spirit. We commence, premise the first. In honor of the goddess, that which was Stella must become sanguine. Correct? I want to be. The blood of the lost Agreed. will Agreed. That is correct. Premise the second. The blood of the greater should be used in service of the lesser, so that balance may be achieved. Yes, that is incorrect. Premise the third. Only those who have partaken in the spilling of blood and thereby created the stone that lives, the stone soaked with blood. Oh, Agreed. That most gratifying, oh yes, most exemplary indeed. 
You have understood the words of the goddess, and I deem you worthy of her true test, of the true trial that shall make you an immaculate. What is this true trial you spoke of? To become an immaculate, you must experience both the goddess's bane and her boon. Leave Silver Glen and take the western path. Follow it to where the winds howl and a great skull looms within the rocks. There you will find it, the hollow and the true trial within. Immaculate guards bar the way, but tell them you have my blessing and they shall let you pass. But take utmost care, the road is beset with horrors, and your metal will be truly tested before you've even set foot within the goddess's trial. It would behoove you to train in advance of setting upon that treacherous path. Okie dokie, thanks for the warning. I shall await you in the chamber of blood. Blessed right, be okay. the goddess, and blessed be the conduit! We won't be taking the western path yet because we're not strong enough. So we can go outside. Oh, hang on a minute. Are they all leaving? Oh, let's just close that door, shall we? I anchor. Oh, get these while we're here. Look at your Michael, it's three and gold. Come on, get it. Bank air skill book. And we have a conversation pending. Another perfect heist. You sneak with the subtlety of a tried and true cat burglar. <laughs> oh, I think so, rather do, don't I? Huh. I wasn't in fact complimenting you. I was pointing out that you're behaving like a villain, not the heroes we're perceived to be. Fat cat. Dirty rat, more like. Ooh. She disapproves of stealing. Right, who's next to talk to then? Who's that? I know. What level are we? Oh, nine. Hello and welcome to our shop. I am the son of the proprietor, Nadia. Please let us know how we can help you. Okay, nothing too much interest there. Tell me about yourself. You've probably noticed that my mother, Nadia, and I aren't from around here. No. We traveled rather far from our hometown to plant new roots here in Silver Glen. My father, Ben, his death was somewhat mysterious. And we've traced the puzzle back to this little settlement. My mother will have plenty to say on that subject, if you're interested. Tell me about Nadia. Ma's a bit intense, to be sure. Set in her ways, but fiercely loyal to the family. Help her out, and you've got a friend for life. Cross her, and you'll be better off skipping town. Not that that'll stop her from cursing your line for the next thousand cycles of Bendis. Tell me about Ben. My father was a good man, equal in character to his wife. His death nearly destroyed us, Ma and me. But now we're here. And we won't leave until we've held the proper parties accountable for their role in his death. Okay, let's have a talk with Nadia. Farma Maldenita, a source hunter in Silver Glen. I have traveled mile on top of mile to find help, and now help has, uh, how you say, appeared from skinny vapors. <laughs> My story, well. This is no small tale. I think perhaps you will be more interested in the... How you say it? The short end of stick. 
I believe Lawrence, the leader of Mining Guild, tell my husband and many of other workers to mine deadly ore called Tenibrium. Lawrence knew that this ore caused rot. Charming name, no? Yet ordered the miners to continue. Many men, my Ben among them, become the sickness. And now they, how you say, kick down the bucket. But this sickness, it is not normal. It kills swift and terrible, not unlike source. Ooh. Expensive stuff. Okay. My son Sebi and I travel from our home to find truth, but this has proven not so easy. Tell me about your husband, Ben. My sweet little Pomargo Visago, my darling Ben. We got along like, how you say, uh, peas and ferrets. <laughs> but he here there is work, very well paid, in mines, clearing special rock from silver mine. So. He leaves Sebi and I to come to Silver Glen. We wait with hearts like stones for some months. And one day, we see familiar figure moving with strange steps on path toward cottage. We run to meet him and take him into our arms, but he collapses at our touch. We help him inside and set him to rest. But he was in terrible condition. Each hour he grow worse, rot so fast. Fast, we hardly recognize him after two short days. He slip away from us, and we bury him with much grief. Tell me more about Sebi. When his father died, Sebi become restless. Being of the age, he joined army and go straight to front line. Though I was nearly old woman, I joined army as healer to be near and look after my boy. There we saw special legionnaire using strange weapon and this legionnaire soon come to my tent with the same disease that killed Ben I discovered the tenibrium ore in this weapon it was the ore that killed them both I come to Silver Glen to discover truth and here I find Lawrence that arrogant man conducts his business without apologize to any so you need help proving Lawrence not only encourage miners to handle Tenebrium. Exactly this. Please, Source Hunter, you must help me prove that Lawrence made his workers to mine deadly Tenebrium. For your help, I offer blessing from my homeland. Sevi mal successos, mi planto serizarbo kai tormenti via nepo subgiai branco. Translation is difficult, but it means something like, if you fail, I will plant cherry tree and haunt your grandbaby beneath branches. Good luck. <laughs> okay, we'll take our leave on that, I think. There's uh, another quest we need to do then. Alright, anything else around here? Metal shield, might as well take it. Potion bottle, nine inch nails. Holy hand grenade, what's going on, Medora? Anything else? Hmm, pouch. Was it not? Uh, nothing. Can we pick it up? Yes, we'll have that. Oh, a chest there, I didn't see. No, nothing. Ok, 
Okay. Purifying fire. Nadia Seliki. What's that gleam? Metal shield. Where is that? It's not on the other side, is it? No. Nothing very exciting, but it all's going handy for selling. Ooh. I do feel slightly guilty stealing from Nadia, but you know, these things have to be done. We need things to win in battle. Right, that it? No, not quite. <laughs> Love grenade. Will charm only five meter radius. Wow, that is good. Nothing else, I don't think. Is out. As usual, when I start recording, there we go, dog barking again. Well, that'll make it an opportune time to end this episode, I think. I might just continue the uh, talking to people in the downtime. We'll see. I'll think about that. Thanks very much for watching, folks. This is all Grace signing off.